Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing the next 48. I just want to let you know that today is Friday and I am off on my Mother's Day vacation with my mom, my son, and my family. So for the weekend, I am completely disconnecting. So if you're trying to email me, I will be back on Monday to my phone. I just want to have some downtime with my family and my son and spend Mother's Day like everyone spends Mother's Day. So um, I'm sure it can't be a crisis if you're reaching me. So um, anything will have to wait after today and I will get back to you on Monday. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started for this next 48. What do we have here? Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message. Okay. So we have Between Worlds that came out, number three. Let's read this message. I'm going to be pulling love cards today since this is the day of love on Friday. And let's read the love message here for Between Worlds, number three. The relationship message, excuse me. So... Um, this is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever. So allow yourself to explore who you are and what it is, what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? And you are um, in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. Wow. Okay. So this is that part of the relationship, whether it's new, whether you've been together for a little while, where you're trying to figure out, is this going to go the distance? Is this going to be forever or is this temporary? Um, you're in between worlds. Still testing the waters, but a little bit more familiar, okay? So you have to decide where you fall with that. We have retreat, okay? It's time to disconnect from the world. You're in between worlds. It's time to disconnect from it. We also have forgiving and learning. As you heal and release, as you heal, excuse me, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. What do we have here for the next 48? All right. We have girl talk. Time with friends, moving on happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. Oh, this card keeps coming out. And then now look, we have wedding rings. So we have wedding rings at the bottom of the deck and we have engagement ring. Um, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, comp completion, and union. This engagement ring has come out um, for the last few readings I've done for the collective. Okay says, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. We have peacefulness. Thank you. Oh, wow. We have peacefulness and imagination. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. And we have, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. All right, let's see what's going on here, Aries. This is for sun, moon, Venus, and rising for Aries. Next 48. All right, this is, could be the situation that you're dealing with, information that is coming towards you, or just what you need to know in the next 48 hours. All 
right. Seven of Swords energy here underneath the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. All right. The first card out is the Sun. Positive outlook on life or the situation at hand. Okay. Things are changing. This is going to be a very happy period in your life. I feel like Aries, you're releasing a lot of negativity. You are actually healing right now. You are actually going through a period in your life where you are forgiving a lot. Okay. And I see that, you know, even if someone's hurt you, you're actually practicing forgiving this person, whether you're deciding to be with them or not. This is not about them. This is a part of your journey. And I think whoever I'm speaking to has realized that they can't go on hating or hurting a person from their past because it doesn't lead to happiness in the future, not with them, but just overall in general. So for the sun to come out for the first card, this is the most positive card in the deck. I feel like somebody is completely changing their perspective on what love is to them and what a relationship should be, meaning that you're finding happiness within yourself. And you know that that is going to lead you to the path of happiness with another. So I think you're completely disconnecting while you do this. You may also be leaving someone hanging, waiting for a decision because we have in between, between worlds here. They know they've messed up. You know they've messed up. But you also know that in order for you to move forward, whether it's with them or anyone else, you have to forgive them. All right, so you definitely, with the retreat and the girl talk here, time with friends, moving on, happily single, loving, living in the moment and having fun and retreat, maybe you're getting away for a while, going on vacation, or just having, getting away from this person, right? And spending time with your friends, um, figuring out what it is that you want. Let's see, you're the challenge, yeah. Look at that, Queen of Cups, what is that? Living in the moment, letting go and loving you. I think I saw that somewhere. Letting go and loving you. Queen of Cups. Sorry. I put do not, I don't know how to work these phones anymore. I put on do not disturb. Now people have the option to pass by the do not disturb. Okay. So Queen of Cups here is the challenge. So this hasn't always been easy for you, Aries, to put yourself first. Okay. To love yourself. Queen of Cups is about self-love and um, following your intuition as well. Um, caring for you before you can care for others. Like that's what the Queen of Cups does. She cares for herself, so she has more love to care for others. But that's been a challenge for you. We have the Page of Pentacles here. Like somebody may be coming in with an apology. Or you, Aries, I feel, are searching, or not necessarily searching, but you're entertaining newer options. Or you're allowing, you're telling the universe, I'm ready for newer options to come in page of pentacles you could be conversing with new people or just opening up to the possibility that new may be better in the past we have the page of cups we have the six of pentacles and uh we have the two of swords so it seems that you may you for the time being you're blocking out an energy of Immaturity, you know, immature communication, immature emotions. Um, someone who may have been leading you on Six of Pentacles. Um, and you're, you're just like, I'm not with that anymore. I'm not with that. I forgive you. But for right now, this is like, this is me season. I need to find what makes me happy. So you're moving, you're moving away from that. Yeah, the death card. So something here definitely had to end. And look underneath that is the Empress. Self-love, pouring into you, doing what makes you happy, doing what makes you fulfilled. At the crowning you queen of wands, Aries, that is you. Male or female, just being more passionate about life and your creative endeavors. It's like I feel that somebody may have used to focus more on a relationship than focusing on themselves. And this kind of depleted your soul. It kept you feeling stuck or going, spinning your wheels around and around and around until it actually emotionally, maybe even materially drained you because there was no forward movement. There was no growth in your life. 
So now we have a tower in the near future here, Aries and Scorpionic energy. Yeah, something was not built on sturdy foundation or it's just like something just, it hit ahead and now it's it's exploding, okay? Just know that even though if you're experiencing a tower moment currently, that is for your highest good, all right? Towers, the universe, the divine, your spirit guides, angels won't allow tower, home, ha, tower, tower moments to happen unless they're absolutely necessary for your growth. Meaning that there's something better. You know, you wouldn't make the decision to let go of this thing or to back away. So something needed to be exposed or something needed to be broken down. I think you know that, Aries. Look at that. You know that. Three of Wands here. You're searching for something better. You're looking towards the future, waiting for your ships to come in. You've already set your intention about what it is that you want in a connection. Right now, you're just doing your soul work. And I feel, I, I love this because not enough people do that. It's always jump from this thing to this thing to this thing. I want, I want love, I want love, and I want it now. But not many people are willing to do what it takes to invite that love into your energy, to heal, right? to you know be patient to listen what it is that that you need right not always trying to cater to someone else or not always trying to be what the next person wants so Aries you're in this energy of totally loving you and just waiting for what the divine brings to you the world card here at the bottom so you've successfully closed out a chapter and now you're just trying to love you build you up and this could look in many different ways maybe you're pouring this into a business maybe you're pouring this into yourself possibly doing things that you have not been able to do because you've been connected to a toxic or hurtful situation maybe you're traveling more hanging out with friends more doing things that you you just really have not been able to do I feel a more creative energy. I feel that somebody has turned their pain into their purpose. What is in your environment? Yeah, two of pentacles and the high priestess. I can see this message in so many ways, but intuitively here i feel that someone did not want to let you go or does not want to let you go Oof. and they're hurting bad behind it i see the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck i see a lot of secrets a lot of things that are hidden still that you still Let's just say this, like you don't need to know, right? You don't need to know. I hear somebody saying, you know, well, if I just knew this, well, you really don't need to know, okay? A lot of secrets. I'm hearing a lot of secrets. Yeah, but somebody's cutting that out. We have the Queen of Swords energy here. This is this feels like somebody could be hidden, like somebody, whoever you were dealing with was hiding another person, a secret, um, you know, them juggling. It could be more than one person, but I'm seeing one person specifically. Give me one more card for this in the environment. Aries, I was going to say, I feel like you have a, a hater or a jealous person. Um, definitely somebody watching you. Page of Swords. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Justice and the Wheel of Fortune. Whoever this is in your energy is experiencing a lot of karma for what they've done to you or what they've kept from you. All right. How are you feeling about this, Aries? How are you feeling about this? The strength, okay, yeah, you're holding back any sign of emotions or weakness, and it's not that you don't want to show any weakness, it's that I feel like you've shown enough. Whoever I'm speaking to, you've shown enough, and you're gathering strength from this situation, and you're moving forward. What do we have here in the outcome? What do 
What do we have? Ooh, too many cards. What do we have here in the outcome? A fool. The fool card. A new beginning. A leap of faith. You're starting a new chapter here with the six of cups here. Could be with a soulmate, someone from the past here, um, and the eight of cups. I see that you're walking away from the past areas. You're walking away from a past person and you're starting something completely new, brand new. I'm hearing like for the first time in your life, it's finally new. Um, well, in a long time, 10 of swords here at the bottom of the deck, a lot of pain, a lot of secrets, a lot of pain Aries, That emperor card keeps falling out. It just fell on the ground, but I'm not, not about to reach down and get it just yet. Um, but that emperor card keeps coming out. Let's see what the sun is about. The sun is the first card out. So let's see what the sun is about. Definitely positive changes coming to you, Aries. And because you're doing the work. Ooh, the devil here. Okay. Yeah, I feel like somebody here, you may have had somebody here who doesn't want to let you go because of your positive energy. I just saw the death card. Because of your positive energy, this person does not want to let you go. Yep. Five of Cups, they're sad, they're regretful, they're remorseful, but I see you, Aries, moving in a completely new direction. Um, maybe this person may have had a hold on you once before. Look at that Queen of Swords. You're not, you're not being able to be held down anymore. This person may have had a hold on you once before, but I see that your light is what's breaking you free from this energy. And the forgiveness, and the forgiveness I just heard. So that unforgiveness is what was keeping you stuck before. When you finally forgave this person and you, you're like, you know what, I don't, I'm not even caring anymore. You know, I forgive you. I just want my freedom, my peace of mind back. And that was kind of like the key that unlocked the ball and change, that chain that you were connected, that connected you to this person. What is the Queen of Cups here in the challenge? See, there's that engagement ring. What? Okay. Uh, look at that. The Hierophant is clarifying the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there's that engagement ring that came out in the beginning. So sad. I don't hear Pugsley's not in here right now. I keep hearing things and he's not him. He's at his, his foster mom. That's what I call her whenever I go out of town. Um, that's where he goes. So he's not here right now. Um, but yeah, Aries loving you. Let me tell you this, loving you, choosing you, forgiving the past, letting go of the past brings in your 10 of pentacles, brings in this hierophant, this queen of cups energy, like stable, secure love, grounded love. I feel like the challenge was believing that you deserved it or believing that it was ever coming. Yeah, things are about to change in a major way for you. Um, positive changes, positive changes are coming in your love life. I mean, that's what I'm going to call this reading. Positive changes are coming in your love life. And I feel like the catalyst was forgiveness. Um, what is the tower here? And I'm talking like, yeah, healing. Healing healing rapid healing spirit is like you've wasted enough time here we're not even going to let this take a long time anymore see the judgment you've made the decision you're letting go you're releasing this thing uh energetically though <laughs> the cords have to be cut because there's someone who doesn't want to let go with the four of pentacles but i don't think your spirit guides are going to allow that to happen yeah see the world they're, they're not going to allow it to happen but they're going to try, whoever this is, they're going to try to hold on to you for dear life because I'm hearing you were their best supply. You were their best supply, Aries. I see you moving on though. Some of you actually moving with the world's card here. What do we have here? The three of wands too. Yeah, Empress energy. You pop out, Aries. When you break free, you pop out with this empress energy. No more dimming your light. No more settling for less. 
This is amazing. No more settling for less. You are expecting the absolute best now. Three of Wands is a card of expectancy. You're expecting the absolute best with this Empress energy. That's amazing. What do we have here in your environment? King of Pentacles. Okay, the person that's coming in with the commitment. Okay, the marriage material person here. They're coming in with the commitment. Um... Mm, someone here is going to be sick. And it's not, I mean, you're not doing anything to them intentionally. I think the best thing that you could have ever done was forgive them for them. It's amazing what happens. It's truly amazing what happens when you take time for yourself. Um, it, it really is. It really is. Being in solitude and just, you know, getting to know yourself again, building yourself back up. I keep seeing this retreat card and I feel like that's really what happened here. Um, yeah. What is the, what is the strength card? The star. Yeah. There's going to be rapid healing, rapid healing very quickly. Um, Aries, and I feel that, you know, once before, you felt that you would never be here. With this strength in the star card, you never thought in a million years you would be able to walk away and release this energy. But here you are, walking away and releasing it, and then even starting something new. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles, clarifying in the outcome. The Fool and the Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Cups and the, wow, another Ace um, in the outcome. You never thought that you would be able to walk away, but now look at you walking away and starting plenty of things new, okay? Um, Ace of Pentacles here could definitely be the engagement ring, can definitely be the proposal of a commitment. Um, yeah, Three of Wands. What, you, what you've been waiting for, you're about to receive. I feel that it comes in quicker six of cups again this is a soulmate this does not this is not a past person they're saying that you're finally about to get the love that you gave the love that you gave is finally about to be reciprocated that's what we're getting here with the six of cups energy this is not a past person this is brand new with both of these aces and the fool that's like three aces here so this is amazing aries you totally deserve this yeah, you totally deserve this. I feel that someone has come to the realization of their worth and what they are worthy, you know, that you deserve more. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. Um, yeah, in the past, I feel that you were stuck in a situation and you could not see the truth. And now you're seeing it. You're leaving a situation that was filled with drama, arguments, fights, competition here. And you're moving forward. There is rapid divine healing and divine growth here. Okay? So that's where we're going to leave that. That is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.